So first and foremost, I want to give all praise on and glory to the Most High Yahweh. Uh, I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yah meaning He, Hawa meaning exists. Um, Yahweh Shai, the name of His Son, which the world ignorantly called Jesus the Christ, even though the letter J didn't exist until the 16th century. Uh, Yah meaning He, Yahweh Shai meaning deliverer. And my name is Abiah, and the Most High has placed His Spirit of Truth, the uh, Spirit of Holiness, Righteousness, and His men to be able to go out into the highways and hedges be who he will to the marriage and also warn the people of the times that they're in and the times to come. Right? Uh, so here's the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 of verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. I always bring the scripture out first to let the people know this is not me that's, that's, that's speaking this. This is thus says the Lord. Right? It ain't like, uh, you know what I'm saying, come out with, with pre sales uh, already written down in the whole. All right, Shalom, Shalom. So, what did we study? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so it's. it's all right. I don't like when people say you weak, because it's more so. That's what, man. Exactly. So, right. Right. So it ain't right. I don't have to eat. This is double. That's what I'm saying. I don't like when people say. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't like. Shalom. Oh, shalom. That's what I was saying. They call me a buyer, bro. A buyer. A buyer. Oh, buyer. Mean it. So I don't like when people ask, "What, what are you with?" Or, I, I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say I don't like it, but I know. But I'm just gonna say it's like I need these shirts and everything, man. All those dudes, you know. Um, Somebody here, big. Yeah, I'm waiting. On, I came from it now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm waiting on the garment to get made hey, now. Oh, but there's thing. no people, people here that like specifically make the garment. Like in Atlanta, they got people. So, um, well, let me let me recap everything I was saying, all right? This ain't a group or something that I'm attached to, like you were saying. This is just us by blood waking up to who we are. Who we are and it. doing what we're supposed to be doing, what we have supposed to be doing the whole time. The so whole now we got some making up. That's why we out here in the, in the highways ahead, doing what we're doing, right? The thing that I study is the word. And I ain't going to say that's it because you cannot defend the gospel and not know your everything, even even your opposition. So a person can come up with the Quran. If you haven't dipped into that Quran and see what it says, how can you defend this against that? Because the people that's coming up to you with the Quran, they don't go into this. They just study the Quran. And that's a lot, a lot of times that's how they get embarrassed because they don't know all of the talking points because they don't go into this book, which is in their book to tell them to talk, refer to this book. So when it comes to that, when you ask me what do I study, I study the truth, right? And it's all weighed in the balance like it's supposed to be, and this has been found to be the truth. My understanding is we are the world our existence. Right, 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 right. Our, our life should be an example in our inward parts. Mm -hmm. We should exude the word Sometimes I fall short, caught up with the word. Right, right. And you know, but I saw you on the road from the street, man. And mm -hmm. That's how you're free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> you know, yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, somebody in life that you first time seen me in Birmingham. Oh, man. Yeah, well, it's, it's oh, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. All right, but well, I, I haven't seen only five on the street. Oh, okay, okay. 
to be following the word. It's written in the book about those people. And you'll have a two-third of the most high people that could care less. That's written in the word too. And it also speaks about the heathen nations being deceivers or being deceivers, right? And linking up with the top deceiver. That's in the word. All of us is living word, right? But it's all it all depends on what what side of the word are you on? Are you on the left side or are you on the right side? We striving to be on the right side. That's that hopeful elect. The hope the people that are hoping for the election of salvation. Right? All of us are living the embodiment of the word because this is a script right now. And I know we, we throw this term out all the time like a movie script. And it really is. The Most High wrote this, but he had men do it, you know, through the spirit of the Most High. He inspired them. They write this down, write that down. Write this part of your life down. Write that part of your life down. Write this vision down that I gave you, so forth and so on. But it was, it was for us to learn now where we fit in and what we should be doing, depending on where, where you fit in. If you if you fit in on that two third side, you're not gonna be caring about what's in here. Well, man, you know, I'm on, I'm on the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, once I got started giving light, I kind of it kind of made me a little air. Right, 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 right. Maybe right. gave me a little bit more. A little pride it was and power. Yeah. It, it was powerful, man. Yeah. You yeah. know, it it, 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 it it hurt me in some instances. It hurt me. How so? You know, with like jobs. And, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, about yeah. the you, yeah. had, you you had to learn to walk in wisdom. Uh, I, I right. changed so so. Right, right, right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Right. I'm trying to restructure myself, man. Right? So, because it is power. Right. Once you get in life. of a brother or a sister. It should hang on you and your whole body from the whole side. You know what I'm saying? That's what, like I said, what I call it. your brothers are standing. I already know. I already know. You feel that doubt. No doubt. You feel, you feel. No doubt. That, man, can't but, nothing replace that. But that's a call and to pick this up. It is. Like man, you saying. You saying the same thing. I saw you from the street, brother. Mm -hmm. and, and I just, it, it was an impulse to come over here. Uh -huh. I saw your friends, your friends, uh -huh. man. And, and I didn't know you like, I did it. I, I, I was going straight, but right. I, I, I looked back around. You saw it and bit that corner. And I needed your information, and That's what's up. I want to call you, man. Um, I want to get back into the stuff. All right, all right. You, you, you finna, you finna leave? Yeah, I gotta meet my father back at okay. the house. Man. Okay. You got a pen? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. Uh, that was a beautiful thing, brother. Just said, right? Um, a lot of times when we get into this truth, and you know, we go through things. Some people, it take them all the way out the game. But others, 
it enhances them getting closer to the most high because they understand I can't let this go because this is who I am. This ain't like a fad or that. Ain't like I'm following the trend or that. This is me really understanding who I am and understanding what I have to do being who I am, right? This is the book of Sirach, chapter two and verse one. It says, my son about come to serve your house, prepare thy soul for temptation. You gotta get your mind ready for uh, you know, hard times to come because that's just, it's all a part of it. Matter of fact, scripture says, the most high chastens those that he loves. So if, if everything is smooth sailing for you and you, you claim to be in this truth, man, hey, you, you may want to check that because the most high may not be dealing with you because it's, it's something on the other end of struggle, man, real talk. If your life just sweet, you weak in so many in so many places, right? Hard times builds character. Hard times builds a certain strength, a certain spiritual strength in a person to be able to withstand like struggle. Right? So when 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 the slightest, when the most minute instance or, or situation arises, you look at it different than the individual who who life just been sealed with spoon, right? Like we, we, we made this comparison all the time with the job situation. A so-called black man lose his job, he's straight. Because all he all he know is, okay, I lost this one, let me go get another. I don't care if I got a house note, uh, four cars, I gotta pay for it, child support, whatever. It ain't no, it ain't like that's that's the end of the world. It just means that, okay, let me redirect this hustle. Whereas the opposite nations, man, they lose their job, they may kill themselves. Because they're not used to it. Right? Let, the, let the stock market crash, man. These folk might, it might be a mass suicide. Because these people ain't used to struggle. Right? Hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you. I think I got one. Okay, okay. I think I got one. I want to my name, Obaya. Obaya, Obaya. Yeah, uh, Obaya, like Abba Yah. Abba, uh, uh, so Abaya means Abba is my father. You study Hebrew too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to as much as I can, you know. I ain't saying I'm fluent, but, you know. It's a tough language, man. Yeah, it's a, well, kind of sort of, kind of sort of. You got to get it, you got to get it, you got to get it. Look, um, got your phone with yeah, yeah. I'm so used to I'm, I'm old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel. You know what I'm saying? But on um, the most I put these curses on us, and it's all for a reason, man. Us even coming into this, uh, this, this situation is all for a reason. Alright, so. Alright, so. Like 205, Start ringing it. I, I got you. Already. Right. Hermit, man. Like the Okay, okay. I got you. I'll hit you up. I'll I hit you this evening after this call. After this call. Sit down. Sit down. All right. All right. So, the most I sends us through things, and it's, it's not for our destruction. It's really for our improvement, man. So, we, so that we can get the lesson out of life and be better. Better for it, right? So, this is the book of Baruch, chapter 4. At verse 6, it says, You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved power to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to power. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. All right? So the most I sent us to these situations, it wasn't for our end or our demise, it's so that we can understand who our power really is. Cause you know we get we get uh, conceited with power, just like just like the brother just said. Us coming into this knowledge, you will gain a certain a certain self esteem about yourself that can't nothing can't nothing tear down. Like real talk, nothing can tear it down. A certain power comes comes alive in you once you get the understanding about the truth in His Word, and there is literally nothing that can that can bring that down except for you, because you get stuck in that pride. And once you get stuck in that pride, then you know. Somebody may come with uh, a higher level of understanding in the same doctrine that you know, but you so stuck on, oh, I know everything, can't by tell me that. Now you done lost out on, on a higher understanding due to uh, uh, pride, right? We supposed to be ever learning, bro, ever, ever, ever elevating in the truth, right? Like I told, bro, in order to defend the gospel, bro, you gotta go into other books, not to follow, but to get information. Right? To, to be able to defend the gospel. 
right, the, 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 uh, the example that I use with the Quran, that's perfect, bro. You go into the history of it, and it shut that whole ideology down. It shut that whole ideology down, bro. You come to find out that uh, the so-called Prophet Muhammad was a so-called white man, right? You come to find out in his book, it says that Israel are the chosen people. And in this book, it says the only prophets that exist are those that are Israel, period, right? So it, 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 all of that goes into the same, the same mode, right? But you gotta be humble with that thing. Scripture said, matter of fact, it's the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter five. And verse five, it says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. That word meek mean humble. Blessed are the humble, for they shall inherit the earth. Right, the Most High put us in a, in a humble situation to where prior to us being at this lower state, only thing we knew was being at the top of the food chain, period. You check history and you'll find out so-called blacks rule this world, right? Even in the in, in the so-called dark age, right? For approximately a thousand years, so-called blacks ruled Europe, right? Facts. All you got to do is check the royal crest of that time. It's a book called Russian Icons. In that book, they they um, um, painted paintings of the people in the Bible, and all of them were uh, uh, people of brown complexion. All of them, right? So that lets you know, at one point in time, we ruled this thing. So imagine the mindset of that individual that's on top of the world. You running this thing, right? But you're not solid in what you believe in. You you kind of you kind of over here. You kind of over there, right? That was the downfall of Solomon. King Solomon, he he uh he fell really because it wasn't because he was dealing with the different women. He just he it was because he started following their ways. Right? The most I said we can have as many wives as we as we feel as long as we can take care of them. Right? But at the end of the day, you are the man. You're supposed to be the head. You're not supposed to follow what a woman tells you as far as shit. Period. Because you're the head. Right? That's what Solomon fell off, dipping and dabbing into the surrounding nations' ideologies. And ultimately, ultimately it ended up in our nation being split into the, the, uh, the, the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. All right? The southern kingdom being the, uh, the kingdom of Judah and the northern kingdom being the, uh, the, the kingdom of Israel. All right? The split is, is still to this day. All right? But even on that, through this situation, of oppression and slavery via slave ships, we ended up back in the same boat together, being oppressed together, like it says in the scripture. Right? Uh, I believe that's Jeremiah 33. Let's see. It's a lot of I can't find it instantly, but I, you, you, you know what I'm saying, right? Let's see. But it says, right, um, Judah and Israel are oppressed together, right? The Most High brought, um, brought us back into the situation to where we had no choice but to go through this thing uh, really as a nation, even though we can't, we don't see ourselves as a nation. He, he uh, uh, forced us into this situation. That's a humbling experience, man. Right? It's, it's, it's a humbling experience to understand that you really don't have power over anything for real, for real. I know a lot of people out here say, well, uh, I got the power to do this and do that. I, I'm in control of my life and I make the decision for what happened to me. That's not true. Because if you got the power to um, make things happen for yourself in your life, how do you have bad days? Right? How do you how do, how do you get pulled over by the police at times when you don't feel like it? Or you come short on a certain bill or you got to do extra for this that that and the third don't nobody plan for that you you if if you are in control of everything that happened in your life that mean your life gonna be smooth sailing every day you're gonna always get what you want because what man will deny himself right unless he's doing it for a higher cause such as fasting but what man gonna deny himself if you are in control of everything that's going on in your life 
How can you have bad days and bad times? That lets you know you ain't in control of nothing, man. Scripture says man's goings are of the Lord. How can the man then understand his own way? You got to understand that it's, it's a higher being that's above you that created all of this. And that's been our problem. That's why we're in this situation from the jump. Like we just read in the book of Baruch. It's because we didn't give honor where honor was due. Period. Point blank. And now we're doing that. Now we recognize, okay, okay. We just worms because it says it in the scripture. Right? The scripture, talk, the scripture calls us worms. I mean, we, we are defenseless without our power. Without our power, we, we really are nothing. Right? And he proved that by allowing these nations to steal us from wherever we were, put us on slave ships, ship us out to wherever we are now, today, take everything from us, including our culture, name, identity, give us pseudo name, pseudo culture, pseudo identity, right? Even to this day. All right, so this is the book of Baruch, chapter three, and verse six. It says, for thou art Yahweh, our power, and thee, O Yahweh, will we praise. Right, we have to understand that. Right? We had to get brought down to this level to understand that Yahweh is our power, and in him will we praise. We won't be praising no dollar. We won't be praising no job. We won't be praising no government, no president, no mayor, no senator, no congressman, none of that. Because we understand that all of those things, all of those titles, and all of those uh, uh, idols are things that the Most High allowed to be on this earth, period. Right? Like when they took Yahweh's side to go get, you know, crucified. And he got uh, sent before, uh, I believe his name was Pontus. And the dude was like, I got power to do this, that, that, and the third to you. Why ain't you speaking up for yourself? Now I wish I said, you ain't got, it. the only power you have is what my father in heaven gave you. That's a powerful statement right there, bro. I mean, and, and it's real. Because we don't control nothing, anything. We don't control nothing. It, it, I, today, these folks trying to cling on to their kingdom to the best of their ability. Right? They've been unopposed for so long. But now, you got Russia that's raising up on their ass. You got China that's raising up on their ass. You think them folk want that? Of course not. If it was up to them, this would be the same old uh, daughter of Babylon of old. Daughter of Babylon being America, the same America of old. See, they 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 literally said that what four years ago, make America great again. If it was up to them, this place would always be the top dog, un un uh, uh, untampered with, untouched, unscathed. But that ain't the will of the Most High. The Most High said they play got the fall just like every other kingdom. And it ain't nothing you can do about it because it ain't in your power. Right? Going back to what your house I said to this, this Roman on, on general. And you ain't got no power over me. No more than what the Father gave you. And I'm on the side of the Father. So what that say for you? <laughs> right? At the end of the day, I know I'm moving in righteousness. And what you're doing is wicked. So that means you're going to have to pay for it. I get, my little, I get my little stripes right now. You know what I'm saying? I get my little, my little hurt right now. Yeah, you can give me that little ticket or whatever it is you're going to do. I get that. Now, even if it's death, I get that right now. But at the end of the day, I know I'm getting me me back. Right? So I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried at all. You understand? So it says in the book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 7, And for this cause, thou hast put thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity. For we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before thee. That's why. Right? That's why the Most High allowed these devils to come and do whatever it is they wanted to do with uh, to us. And they did whatever it is they wanted to do. Even to this day, they still do it, but it's in another way. Right? Depending on the cop you come across or the sheriff or whatever, depending on the day he had it, you can lose your life, for real, for real. And you can be doing everything that man tell you to do. Because the power is in the hand of the wicked. Job 9, 24 says, the earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. How can uh, uh, he cover the faces of the judges thereof, if not wearing, who is it? Right. Says, if not wearing, who is he? Right. So, I mean, no facts right though. The most high gave these people power. And the most high taking that power away. Right? Let's see. 